Hello guys and welcome back. We are about ready to get started with round number two here. And uh, I'm going to be joined together here with Jin, who's going to cast side by side with me. Uh, can't seem to hear Jin though. Ah! Oh wait, uh, I think I know why. Um, but anyways, um, sorry Jin, I have to, I forgot my earphones are not connected into my streaming PC, so it is a bit <laughs> of um, oversight on my part. Um, I'll try and work it out for round number three, okay? But yes, anyways guys, we are getting stuck in here for round number two and uh, seeing quite a different flight path here is going to be all the way from the military island going all the way up towards uh, Severny and uh, from the looks of it, uh, it is going to be a bit interesting on the, some of the drops. You see two teams actually going here, Resurgence and Geek Fan. They both like to go to the military island, uh, so that will be an interesting um, development here to see how that part is going to uh, work out. But yeah, looking at uh, how the rest of it is going to be uh, going here, we see quite an even spread at the moment. Uh, currently nothing too serious at the moment going on re between Resurgence and Geek Fam at the moment as they are currently still quite separated at the, for the time being. Uh, but now we will be looking to see how uh, the rest of these teams are going to be shaping out. There is going to be uh, quite a few other uh, teams uh, dropping uh, into uh, kind of the same spots. I think, uh, if not mistaken, we did see RRQ kind of drop into this central spot. Pachinki is again going to be occupied by L Dogs for the time being here, as uh, currently that's going to be uh, very much their probing ground. It looks as though that uh, we have Airwolf Vince Pro also still taking up position over here. But uh, we have to actually see how the rest of it is going to shape out uh, currently a little bit later on. As uh, actually we didn't see Vengeance drop here any any further. But they are already starting to engage against each other here. And currently DJ is strong trying to get a better angle here. But he takes quite a few hits from Rio at the moment here. So he's going to back off and find a little bit more heals for the time being. The circle is quite central. It does offer uh, teams a lot of different opportunities. And wow we have a lot of long drops all the way over here on the on the south george side as we do see the team members here from squad 14 this is z god here uh currently just going to try and go towards the western side of south george and the eastern side is going to be uh, joined by team capcorn last round they did go to yasnaya here so a little bit of a difference here as uh we also see regium go all the way over here as well now of course the last game we did see a very different flight path so it was always going to be a little bit different here in terms of uh, what kind of drop patterns that we might see but for the most part it looks like gfam happy to stay around the barracks area while the main factory and control tower is going to be belong to con resurgence at the moment and uh, in novo we actually do have mista there as well and currently going to be a bit interesting to see how that one is also going to play out and uh, elsewhere we will be seeing that other teams are also making their own uh, rotations to get to better loot spots yasnaya going to be one of them here after the team members from ronin have managed to secure some vehicles already to their favor and it looks like uh, we're going to have a, a decent spread here. Vengeance is going to take up these uh, midlands here between Farm and Pachinki. Milta is going to be dogs, so they really do like that spot. Looks like Stadium Fighter occupying the prison area as well as shelter for the time being here as uh, Geek Fam currently dropping out in military base here, so don't really have to worry about them dropping in their second favorite place. But it uh, looks like South Georgia currently not too crowded for the time being. So uh looks like uh, Gang FTY have changed up their strategy here. And uh, they are going to be in this Gatka region for the time being. So let's see how that part is going to play a part here. Now, sorry, just a, a big shout out for Ras Rasidi. Uh, Hadi, sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name. Uh, but thank you so much for the 100 stars. You're, you're amazing. Thank you so much for the support, man. Um, but yes, in any case, back to the game here. Actually, Gang FTY still has one of their players all the way here near the shooting range. So quite spread out. Looks like Airwolf Summit also will be uh, at the summit of the map in Stalber. As uh, we also see Katao, Hexagon, and Crosby, Arthur Crosby all occupying different zones for the time being. 
looks like Pochinki could be the, the place which is most contested here. But I think as we saw in the last game here, probably L Dogs uh, Squad 19 not wanting to take too much of a direct battle as that didn't work out well for them in the last round after they were reduced down to one man after taking quite a number of losses from Team Vengeance. So currently Vengeance not here to rear their head and really... Um, a lot of a big dent into L Dogs' hopes and dreams, but at the moment it is only going to be Airwolf Vince Pro. A little bit more on the conservative side here, um, as they just want to try and get a meaningful looting phase going on. And uh, looks like uh, the rest of the teams here are shaping up well. But uh, Pachinki, these guys probably can stay here the longest. But again, most a lot of the teams are going to start crowding this area here if they're not careful. Looks like Resurgence already making their move here. But they actually might go past the bridge here where currently Ping Pong Pangs here is going to currently be occupying. But looks like Quadro and the rest of uh, his team going to look for other vehicles here on this uh, northern side of the military island. So that could be a bit interesting to see how that one will be playing out in this game. Now, elsewhere, we do actually see that there is going to be uh, in Yasnaya still two of the teams, DPT and uh, Ronin. So currently they're just uh, very co-mingling in that zone. But currently they probably will be wanting to make a, a rotation a bit earlier rather than later. But now in Pachinki, things are getting uh, a bit more crowded here as now the rest of uh, rest of Airwolf Vinspro moving close to the rest of L Dogs at the moment. Currently Rise of Fury and D DJ Strong here in uh, reasonably close proximity to the, the rest of the players here after they're moving into some of these other zones. But currently looks pretty uh, okay for the rest of these players as um, they're just trying to hold out for the time being and just wait and see uh, how things are going to develop here before they actually decide to make a move especially since we got two of the l dogs players all the way in the southern region here dj strong already taking some hits there he's forced to get off one of his heels so looks like uh, misery here as well as real favor gonna just try and watch out for this particular area as they gonna just monitor where the movements are they don't want to lose any players unnecessarily and now we see dogs already in motion here after they have uh, decided to move in early. CJ going for the scouting move here as he tries to move into the central region for now. And uh, elsewhere, we will be looking to see how these other players are going to be shaping up as well. Now, we do have uh, Roar Gaming all the way here in North Georgia. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to see too much of them in uh, the first game here. So hopefully we get to see uh, what they're capable of here as uh, we already see a lot of teams in rotation. Resurgence going for that Western Bridge actually and avoiding the complications with uh, Team Mista for the time being, but they're currently in rotation together with uh, Snow Templar at the moment, so we have to see how that part is going to be uh, playing a role here in this game. But yes, guys, uh, looking at the, how the rest of this is uh, going, with Dogs here really trying to set up position here south of the school, and currently that would be a quite central location, but there's not a lot of hardcover available for them. So... Again, it's something that they have to consider. And uh, again, if you take up a lot of these central positions here, usually you want to try and get a compound which has got a lot of hard cover, has got good vision, that you can start shooting at other players when they go in their rotation phases because that's always going to be the important part here to try and make sure that you can put the squeeze onto all these teams. Now, here in Scrim City, we do have quite uh, a high level of skill on display here as uh, usually teams will be looking to really... Uh, try and feel out the other opponents here. And now we've got some of the top teams from Philippines, Malaysia, uh, Singapore, Vietnam, and Indonesia, guys. So these guys will be going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, week in, week out on these four days of uh, Scrim City. So Scrim City will be every uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But uh, it is dependent on whether or not uh, there's going to be a lot of teams. I think especially in the last few weekends, there's been a lot of tournaments going on. There's been HB Omen. There's been PUBG Malaysia Singapore Championship. Uh, I think this weekend there's going to be not only the qualifiers three for Malaysia Singapore Championship, but there's actually also going to be um, some of the other uh, games from the Predator League, which is starting here in Malaysia. So, oh, it looks like uh, Kahaya, four stadium fighter, going to be getting two knocks here onto two of the Vengeance players. So he's really doing it himself here for stadium fighter it looks like Udin coming here to back him up as um, Mune here as well as Dubi2 going to try and hold off this spot for the time being but Udin stopping much earlier here as the for the time being but looks like Mune here going to be able to catch out Kahaya and it looks like Udin uh, has to make a decision whether or not he wants to come here there are still two players up here for uh, team uh 
Team Vengeance at the moment, so they might actually just hold back just a little bit here as they want to try and prevent a little bit more here from uh, happening too much. But now Circle is going to be moving in, and uh, we already see that DPT disengaging or rather vacating their western portion of Yasnaya in favor of getting a good spot inside the Circle. Geek Fam also on the move here after uh, they move up all the way from the military island, and they move right centrally here uh, trying to find a spot, but they actually might go a little bit too close here to uh, Snow Templar and looks like Jang's here going to be the scout here and attract a lot of the fire but thanks for the fast movement he's able to navigate away and the rest of GeekFam going to steer clear of this compound at the, after they're in search for a better home here for the start of this round and uh, we are just getting started guys there's still 73 players alive here and uh, can be interesting to see how these teams are going to try and shake things up from the last game of course it is going to be a different circle so we do get to see a different set of tactics and strategy being employed here and teams maybe not having the chance to rotate early are doing so now and we'll be seeing a very different uh shape up into this uh late game but now looking at how things are shaping up we will be seeing that uh, others are coming in uh m0 is going to try and reconnect with the rest of uh gang fty currently they are southwest of pochinki but looks like resurgence also holding up in a lot of these compounds here on the outskirts as they are Hold up in this western position, Kasake and Aeon here, while well, the other two are split, Quadro, yeah, there's going to be Quadro and Brax there, uh, currently occupying that uh, eastern, or sorry, the southwestern uh, barn complex there in favor of trying to uh, get that 2-2 split. They do like that 2-2 split. It does offer a lot of map control there. Unfortunately, in the last game, they weren't able to find a compound early enough. So this time, they are making that rotation a lot earlier here just to make sure that they can exert their influence on the rest of these teams. Now, we already see that here. Riser Fury getting knocked down here from the team members of uh, Airwolf Vince Pro. So it looks like that l Dogs guys will have to try and duke it out uh, just a little bit longer in this position. Now, they haven't been able to move too much um, but looks like the circle is going to be generally favorable for most of these teams. It does cover a lot of the compounds that they are currently in. So now looking at how things are shaping up here, the rest of these players are going to be uh, starting to make their way in here. As uh, now we will be seeing that uh, Airwolf Summit here moving their way in as well. So looks like... Um, there, it, that is going to get very crowded here. Now they are moving very close to Geek Fam, but Geek Fam currently just hold up inside that compound. They're not going to take any shots that the maybe might be too detrimental they might be trying to draw airwolf closer in here as we see that entrov here is going to smack right into this compound and arthur crosby not facing any hits there but now looks like entrov is still able to get the drop onto jangs here and looks as though that it is getting crazy here savior able to take down arthur crosby but now like entrov here is all by himself and he actually knocks down k and y god here as uh, he was trying to help out jangs but looks like he's taking a lot of fire but Marty getting take down entrov really going to town on geek fam here savior gonna try and do the best he can KNY god can't really save himself too much here as uh, we already got two more players from airwolf here coming in to back them up as now savior gonna try and do the best he can but he gets picked off and that's gonna be an early game here for geek fam after they go out in 20th position here so uh looks like airwolf gonna take that compound by storm at the cost of one of their players here but now looks as though that the squad number 12 here um roar gaming gonna die as they try to move into this position occupied by team capcorn so capcorn here going to finish them off here and it does look as though that that is going to be it for them they go out in 19th position here and looks like resurgence has made a move there from their own previous compound brax and quadro moving over here but they're also engaging together with team capcorn as well so it's going to be a bit of a dicey situation for, for now as they try and hold off from further calamity uh, happening to them. Now Brax can't be res right now. Quadro taking a little bit too much damage and it looks as though Lexus Fizzy and uh, Atalas here uh, gonna try and do the best they can to uh, pin Quadro in here while they try and get a good flank but given the position here it's gonna be difficult. It looks like Lexus Fizzy here forced to actually come out in the open but is good enough to take down quadro here and looks like resurgence gonna be down two players here early in this game now elsewhere we will be seeing that others are going to be uh facing their way also moving inside uh the zone now looks like uh there's going to be a lot of pressure onto uh vengeance here after they're taking a lot of hits from these uh players from 
um, RRQ. So RRQ just hanging out there still in that compound that, um, well, actually they started in school, but they've been relatively in this region for most of the time here. But Pochiki still hasn't seen a conclusion to this standoff, guys, as uh, we still got L Dogs here duking it out with Arrow Wolf Vince Pro. And currently DJ Strong again down on low health here. So he seems to be uh, a bullet magnet for the time being here. As uh, now there is a big surround going on here and Rio taking a little bit of a hit there as he needs to be a little bit careful. He doesn't have a lot of teammates close to him. So if he takes too many hits, that's going to be it for them. Now it looks like Misery here might have a good chance to shoot at Chance here as he runs out in the open and looks like he can get caught. And Misery going to take that one there. And uh, now looking at like Vandal here, going to try and push as well. He His nade actually damages DJ Strong quite a bit, but not enough to deal any more significant damage. And now looking at how the rest of it is developing, all these teams are converging here. Oh, it looks as though that uh, Stadium Fire goes down after uh, Old Man goes out, and that's going to be it for them. They go out in 18th position here, so not able to replicate that third placing that we saw in round number one. Uh, elsewhere, we will be looking at uh, how some of these other teams are going to be doing here as well as uh, we will be seeing that a lot of teams have claimed their compounds for the time being. Uh, but it looks like Gang FTY facing a lot of pressure here um, in the southern part of the circle at the moment as currently Dankirk here trying to prevent this push from coming here. He's got the whole of uh, Team Wipeout from Philippines coming as he primes the nade. He throws it in between the buildings there, but... Uh, not able to catch them out, but he did get the seal kill onto JPEO. So that is going to be it for him. But looks like Manparang and Allen's going to try and back him up from the, the the hillside here as they try and see whether they can prevent further advancement. Looks like Manparang here has an MK14 here to, for his uh, usage here. And oh, looks like um, the rest of L Dogs getting pasted over here in Pochinki as now there's only one player left here. Um, DJ Strong. The person who probably took the most damage from all the team so far in this game is going to be the last player alive. But looks like Dankirk will be good for taking out here from uh, uh, Wipeout as now they only have uh, Stu here who's trying to hold the fort. A nade comes in from long range here and looks like Stu should be safe here given the amount of cover. But Manparong and the rest are coming in here and Manparong will be trying to seal it and he is forced to move in and get the heal up. But Dankert will be moving in. He finishes off Stu, and that is going to be it for Wipeout as uh, looks like Gang FTY able to come out with that one, but they did lose M0 earlier on, but he was scouting very far up north. Now, looking at this next circle, it's pushed all the way down south here, but it is going to favor most of the teams here who are placed centrally here. Oh, it looks like DJ Strong is down, and L Dogs is out in 16th position, guys. But now it looks like uh, Dogs, the powerhouse from Philippines, is advancing onto this compound occupied by RRQ. But they only have CJ and Unexpected here. Now, they did take a lot of fire in their rotation, but Mad Dog is still up and alive somewhere, just not in this current position. So they're currently biding their time and see whether or not they, they can get any vital knocks. There is the full four man squad R R and Q. Which which could be quite difficult for them to actually uh, manage the situation. But looking at how things are, they are going to just try and hold up for the time being. We do have the full man squad from Ronin here moving down to the south as they are following right behind Z God here, uh, who are joining to meet up with head on point here. And it looks like uh, in the northern part of the circle, we see Lapar Genesis, our winners from round number one, guys, uh, trying to go to town. This time onto Roar Gaming. Roar Gaming just trying to get through here. And they have a number of people in their car if they take too many hits they could be in trouble here and they're actually moving right towards the compound that uh, is a potential hotspot for rrq and dogs here so if they're not careful they're gonna get spotted out here as cj and the rest of dogs here but cj able to knock out one of the players here and the car goes flying is going to explode in no time and it looks like cj gonna have to try to reposition but the other two players from roar gaming here currently super damaged it looks like unexpected will get shot uh, after he was able to take down one or more of the players, but looks like a bit of third party action as they get shot from the mist of players here all the way across the field. But Mad Dog is trying to back up the rest of dogs here for the time being. And it looks as though that he's going to try and get some shots onto Baby Rage here at the moment. But he only sees the down teammate for the time being. CJ is going to uh, come a little bit over here. But it looks like Mad Dog will finish off the rest of Roar Gaming after they go out in 15th position here. But now things are heating up here. We have Team Capcorn going at it together with Mista. Mista currently in this uh, little bit of a dip here on the side of the hill. And it looks like OG Philip here getting knocked down by Alatus here. 
and a nade comes out here, but it's going way past the rest of these players, but Paku Paku preventing the flank coming out from the left side for the uh, team Mista here, but Alata's here going to try and push up over the top here and he's able to take down Paku Paku. So Philip here going to be in a bit of a spot here. Private Dumb here going to try and res his teammate, but one well-placed nade here is going to be uh, very detrimental for his health. I would imagine it looks like Lexus Fizzy does get back up again, but now looks like uh, it is going to be difficult for Mista. They have ping pong pangs down already. And Philip goes down yet again here after that nade. So Private Dumb is going to back out here, but he is taking fire this time all the way from uh, either RRQ or the players from uh, Dogs. So he's going to just try and bide his time for the for now as uh, all that long range fire is probably going to help him out a little bit more rather than not. And it looks like they're just going to keep throwing nades in there. They're convinced that he's inside the the smoke there and looks like Lexus Vizzy gonna knock down his own teammate unfortunately there so um, yeah a little bit of a mishap there as now Private Dom is gonna advance a little bit here but he's gonna get picked off by Lexus so Lexus on a killing spree of uh, more than one kind here but looking at this uh, looks like Gang FTY here caught a little bit here by the Z Gods players as now Dankert is gonna be the last remaining player here after they've been engaged in this uh, fight a little bit here they lost Man Parang and uh, Allen's for the time being and it looks like burning will be the last player moving here and uh, oh Danker able to spot him out and it looks like burning here still up for uh, Z Gods here and uh, he takes a few more hits as well Danker just holding the fort he's able to get another knock here so he's doing work here and looks like uh, it's going to be O'Connor and Rage Boy trying to come back and help but O'Connor going to catch out Dankirk, unfortunately, and that's going to be it. And, uh, oh, looks as though that tragedy for Airwolf Summit here after they were duking it out with the players from uh, Airwolf uh, Vince Pro here. So a little bit of uh, team rivalry there, and it looks like the spoils will be going to uh, Airwolf Vince Pro here, who are still kings of Pachinki here after being in this zone for quite some time. But now it looks like Dogs here in a little bit of trouble here, but they will get the res off for the time being. And it looks as though Lapar Genesis reduced down to two players here as Mal Kendricks and Syndicate just try and hold the fort for the time being. But it looks like elsewhere we will be seeing other players uh, getting into but uh better trying to get into a better position now this uh little mound here has uh proved to be very good for cover for a team capcorn but it still has a, a little bit of casualties attached to it real uh level one here going down here and ice fell now returning fire over the the open plane over here towards the team members from ronin but ronin disengaging a little bit here they are just trying to focus on this rotation coming in from jonathan here but jonathan manages to escape for snow templar and he will live to see another day so this position going to be quite uh vacated here while things are heating up around pochinki here now we already see that the rest of uh z god here moving in after finishing off that fight with gang fty and currently they're in this uh part of Pachiki, which is not currently very occupied. Vengeance here, squad number nine on your screen, uh, currently in the three-story building here and should be able to offer some means of uh, preventing them from making too many advances into the main town. Kasake will be the last player for Resurgence, currently just trying to hold the fort in the center of town here and just bide his time waiting to see how the rest of the circle is going to develop. But our winners from round one here, Mal Kendricks and uh, Syndicate here, currently under a lot of pressure. They do have uh, terrain there, but currently not inside the zone. They do have to cross over the top here. If they're going to get through, Mal Kendricks getting a clutch shot onto Lexus Fizzy here. That's going to alleviate some of the pressure that they have here uh, in trying to move onwards here. But Alatis here under pressure as well for Mal Kendricks, but Syndicate moving up here, and he's going to have to try and do the best that he can to get inside the zone. He throws out the nade here, and Alatis here getting some third party shots here all the way from uh, RRQ for the time being as it looks like Syndicate is going to advance onto this position for the time being real level, real level 1 here also trying to advance onto these two players at the moment but now it looks like Icefell going to have to busy himself with getting Lexus Fizzy up for the time being and uh, Lapar Syndicate just going to hold on tight here while he waits to see how it's going to develop Alatas coming outside into the blue here to try and get the shot there it uh, looks like uh, Mad Dog going to pick him off from long range and uh, that's going to be a nice pickup from them. But unfortunately, Mal Kendricks gets wiped out by Icefell and that's going to be it for Lapar uh, Genesis here in round number two, guys. So now we are down to 10 teams with 28 alive here. As things are starting to slowly develop here, we still have in the northeastern part is going to be RRQ. Now, they're going to have to play it very carefully here. I think they did lose one of their team members here. I think it was probably one of them getting shot and uh, a res... Oh no, sorry, they still have four players left. They are just uh, staying very close to one another, so to speak. And Mad Dog 
just using the cover here, impervious to damage for the time being from the rest of uh, RRQ. He's just going to put more rain on towards uh, Team Capcorn. He has already taken out two of their players so far here as uh, CJ Mad Dog just uh, going to really weigh in for dogs for the time being. Now, there is going to be a lot of shots coming in from Migo and the rest of uh, DPT as they are moving in on that eastern side. But Migo getting shot at by Valdemort here. So Valdemort really showing his prowess with the car 98 after getting that nice headshot so looking at now how things are shaping up here almost all the teams are inside the zone they are trying to use whatever vehicles they can to just get inside just a little bit more now the rest of dpt here they did manage to get over to this section here by the uh, entrance to this mini shelter area for the time being and a little bit of hard cover but wow yeah i've never seen the car slide down like that before but i guess it doesn't have any of its wheels left but m on here taking a lot of hits and s well played here going to going to really uh, go to work here as uh, they've been doing substantial amounts of damage from here. Now, they actually do have to contend still with the two players of dogs and these are two players that you do not want sticking into your sides, guys. They will take you down in a heartbeat if you're not careful. So now looking at how things are shaping up here, we already see that the team members from Ronin here going to try and move further closer towards the position occupied by Team Capcorn. If they can, they will try and finish off this fight here because they don't want to have to face... Uh, problems from having teams move into the same areas as them but looks like Kasaki here gonna get down one of the players from Z God here in Pachinki as uh, he's able to surprise him after they were advancing a bit too far so now the rest of the players from Z God here gonna try and play it a bit easy and uh, Jonathan's still alive here as well for Snow Templar for the time being so it could be interesting to see how that part is gonna play out in this game now we will be looking to see how the the others are shaping up over here as well. Looking at uh, how it is faring at the moment, we will be seeing that uh, the circle is still going to cover part of Pachinki here. So Kasaki is still in a good position, as is Airwolf Vince Pro. Now, looks like the rest of uh, Z-God here and uh, Vengeance all going to have to move. Looks like the whole of Ronin coming in here towards the, the main town. Now, looks like uh, Dogs here as well as RRQ going to have to make their moves as well, as all these teams are going to have to make that rotation quickly. We still got Team Capcorn still far outside the zone for the time being but looks as though that Eman is going to get caught out by the players from Airwolf Vince Pro and that's going to be it for DPT after they go out in 10th position here now things are getting a bit claustrophobic here in uh, Pachinki and it could be a little bit of a interesting mix up here as the game goes on now the rest of uh Ronin here have moved in and looking to put more hurt onto some of these other teams here. Now they just have to be a little careful, but it looks as though that Z God here have made their transition over here. But now it looks like CJ going to get spotted here. And oh, Icefeld not taking out Lexus Fizzy. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but it looks like CJ going to go down here. And oh, it looks as though Coppin going to spot out. Or rather, Zalman here going to finish off Mad, Mad Dog here. And that's going to be it for Dogs here in this game as uh, they get ninth position. Now, looking at Valdemore, he's looking to get another headshot with the car 98. He's just trying to spot out the rest of the Ronin players for the time being. Currently not exposing themselves um, because if you peek, you'll be six feet deep. And now we will be seeing the four players from uh, Airwolf Inspro still occupying this garage building on the northern tip of uh, Pachinki for the time being. It does offer a lot of good vision here and they are going to try and use it to the maximum but we already have Vengeance here moving in on the players from uh, uh, Z-God at the moment as uh, currently it's a, a little bit of a tight situation. They have to be a bit mindful of the incoming threat here from the nades that are flying in as currently their presence is very much known to the rest of the Z-God players as uh, now they do want to try and not lose any more players after Kasaki was able to get that kill. And Kasaki will be looking for any player to try and cross this uh, uh, part over here. Uh, oh, Cheesy Kimba going to get Icefell all the way out on the blue. So a nice pickup there as um, he collects more points for those kills. And now we will be seeing that uh, there's going to be a lot of raining down coming from Airwolf Vince Pro for the time being. Now, the rest of RRQ is moving up from the northwestern side here, but they're going to just buy their time a little bit. It's still 28 seconds for the time being here before they start moving in. But now it looks like more pressure onto Vengeance here as they are trying to just stay alive in this uh in this big house at the moment they've got all three players from z god here all trying to to watch over them and make sure that they can cross the road safely so uh they're gonna have to really buy their time for for now and uh, it's very much going to be dependent on how this next circle is going to play out 
Jonathan here, still alive here in the church for the moment. He must be praying very hard right now. It looks like he's going to have to pray a lot more. This circle really is going to make a big squeeze for all these teams here. Arguably, it's going to be an advantage for RRQ as they don't have any teams here on the northern side of the circle. Now, all these others are going to have to bug out here. It'll be interesting to see whether or not these Airwolf Vince Pro players here are going to actually stay in that corner of the building, which is still inside the zone but likely they will just back up into the region behind it and use that as cover to try and shoot any of these players trying to vacate uh, Pochinki for the time being. So Kasaki gonna wait as well here and uh, looks like Vengeance, they really can't make a move here until the move comes from Z-Gods here. So that's gonna be out of their favor here. And once they move out, they're gonna get shot up and then Z-Gods here are gonna make their move here. And hopefully uh, no other teams are gonna take shots at them. But now others are making, deploying their smokes here, their getaway uh, outlets here as the play zone is going to start moving in five seconds currently it looks like RRQ is moving in and now looks like a little bit of disengagement here coming in from the Z God players as uh, O'Connor here is going to try and catch out uh, one of the players here, Doobie 2 is going to be the last player up here. He's going to try his best, but looks like O'Connor going to catch him out as well. And looks like that's going to be it. And now things are erupting all over the place, guys, as we see that they're all trying to maneuver their way around. Kasake is going to be the last player. And ooh, looks like uh, last player for Snow Templar goes down as well. And now the, the movement from uh, the rest of Arrowwolf, Vince Pro here, going to be very delayed here as uh, they can afford to wait until the last second here. Jutsu getting taken down there by uh, Zalman there. It looks like Leander going down, leasing only Cheesy Kimbap here and Jowie Q as the last players for Ronin at the moment here as they try and uh, save off this little opposition that's going on for the time being. But this is going to be Valdemort trying to push up a little bit here. He has a lot of smokes here in the way, which is going to try and uh, uh, make the situation a little bit more dire. But looks like Kasaki going down for resurgence here after he's not able to hang out there much longer. O'Connor and Rage getting shot up by Misery and the rest of uh, Airwolf Binspro at the time being. But it looks like there is a crossfire cop in here coming in from the side. And now the two players from uh, Ronin are still alive here, surviving in the smoke for what seems like an eternity. is preventing all these RRQ players from moving in further. And it looks like Ronin and uh, Rage just going to try and get in, but they're getting fire from all sorts of directions here. This time from uh, Airwolf Binspro as well, as they try and lay down the hurt. And now it looks like the final circle has revealed itself and it's going to be right in the center, guys. So all these teams do have to try and position themselves carefully as they try and prevent the situ situation from spiraling out of control. Well, we do see RRQ having a very good spread here and really controlling the flanks here, but they got two different teams that they're engaging at the same time and they are a bit outnumbered on this uh this side of the circle at the moment as there's only Coppin and Valdemort. Valdemort is trying to come in and throw a nade here onto the two team members from uh, uh Ronin. He deals some damage but not enough to take him down and it looks like Rage Boy gonna go down here and leaving O'Connor all by himself at, for the time being. Rage Boy is gonna be finished off here and the points are gonna go to uh Airwolf Vince Pro and now it looks like uh, they are taking further Hits this time from uh, O'Connor. O'Connor gonna try and force this uh, position here from uh, being uh, too disadvantageous here. But there is gonna be a lot of uh, split of a split going on here. But O'Connor gonna meet his end. But Coppin gets caught out here as RQ spread a little bit too thin. They've had to juke it out with. Uh, uh, Ronin as well as Arrowwolf Vince Pro for quite some time here, and now the all four players coming in for. Vince Pro as they're now trying to put some hurt on but Rio coming over the top he gets spotted by as well played and uh, looks like uh, the smoke will be coming out here to try and prevent further advancement but looks like uh, from this point in time we see Jiao EQ here dying for Ronin and now there's only Cheesy Kimbap alive and then seems to be doing an Ibiza he's been living in the smoke for pretty much a uh, last 20 minutes or something like that but yeah looks like uh, Valdemore here gonna run around Cheesy Kimbap for the time being as they try and put up some of these shots here. Currently, Valdemort just trying to get any vision he can. Rio just next to him and uh, inside the smoke, but looks like he's gonna get caught out as Zalman is gonna knock down Rayak here. And uh, looks like Cheesy Kimbap is gonna be the casualty right in this fight here. And now we only have, uh, a, it's gonna be a two on one situation. It looks like Rio is gonna try and get his teammates up. There's only two players up at the moment here for the. Uh, uh, the Vince Pro players here, but it's still one more than what RQ has at the moment. As now, as well played here 
currently not getting his teammates up here and currently this is going to be a huge numerical advantage for the rest of Vince Pro as they look to put the squeeze on the rest of this game. Now, looks like Zalman going to go down and uh, as well played here, getting taken out by Vandal and looks like that Arrow Wolf Vince Pro going to take round number two guys here and uh, looks like they had a killer of a game here. Get to taking 15 frags as well. So that's been an excellent round from them. They didn't have to move much. The circle was very much around the Pochikin side for lots of the time there, but they did hold that uh, very solidly that position and in, they really did reap the benefits there. Hauling in those uh, 15 kills made up mostly from Misery getting uh, seven kills himself. So very nice uh, boon for him. And in second place was gonna be RRQ as well. Also benefiting from the their position in the circle there after dropping into the school section. And in third place, we're gonna have Team Ronin there looking pretty strong there. And then they were forced to take a few fights that they didn't want to. And um, they were really losing a lot of players from that fight from RRQ. So Cheesy give him up, trying to stay alive there as much as he can. He almost pulled off the, the Ibiza there, but unfortunately uh, wasn't long enough. And then uh, in fourth place, we do have uh, the players from Z God who did also manage to get fourth place in that game there after they had two of their, they had three of those players camping vengeance there for the longest part in Pachiki there. And um, as soon as they came out, they got nailed by O'Connor. So that shows in his five frags that he's using to carry the team. And in fifth place, we have uh, Resurgence. Now, they did lose uh, a few of their players much earlier on, but Kasaki showing the survival skills there after he was able to stay alive in Pachiki for quite some time. So, uh, very good move from him, and he was able to really come out with it in the end. So, yeah, that is going to be it, guys. So, uh, that's it for round number two. When we return here on Play of the J, we will be looking at round number three. So, thanks so much for watching, and we'll be right back.